Look up there. What's yep. that up there? Diggins up there. There's a dump. Exciting. <laughs> Look at this. They're digging into solid rock here. Oh, no fool. I'm digging into serpentine, That's solid serpentine. Ground, right there. Yes. Okay, so here in the tailings of this, we have serpentine. Clearly serpentine, you know? You're not going to mistake that for anything other than no. serpentine. Right next to it, we have a much harder, different type of rock. Heavier. Heavier Leaning and down. harder. You know, this is leaning towards an andesite. Yeah. It, it's different is what I'm trying it's to say. Different. It's very different. So if we're finding two different types of rock, it's possibly so more. Fine grain this piece is though. Yes, That's very, very fine. very fine grain. Absolutely a contrast from your serpentine. So I think we may have just shifted gears, Trevor. I agree. This is a potential pocket digs, a pocket hole where there's a contact of those two different types of rock running through here and they sunk on it. They had enough reason to sink on it. Yeah. This is very exciting. Right next to their cabin. They built the cabin there for some reason. Probably for the lower workings. And they, as they spent enough time here, they progressed up the hill and really looked at this float rock. You're right. They would have they would have made sa small sample holes along the hillside here, you know, wheelbarrow size, bucket size of gra of, of the hillside material than they would have gone down to the creek and pan that or gone to one of the ditches and pan that and uh, looking for trace is what they were looking for. Exactly. Small particles of gold. So let's keep looking to see if we can find any more signs of pocket mining here. All right, so here we are. Potential pocket diggings. Yeah. Like right adjacent to it. And we're finding large grained leaning towards granite. Granite diorite, whatever you want to call it. And it's large crystals meaning it cooled faster. No, it cooled slower. Slower? Yeah, we more time for the crystals That's to grow. That's true. That's true. The fast the that other stuff we we're finding with the small fine grained yeah. would have been a, cl a quicker cool. Because gotcha. the crystals didn't ha have as much time to, to grow. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing a multi-variety of rocks in one area. Yeah. Which is a potential zone for, what do we call those? The fluids and the... The hydrothermal? The hydrothermal activity potential. It's getting better. Getting better. Here we are above that pocket diggings and we have a small depression here. Very potentially a, a, a test hole of some sort. Here's, an, here's another shallow depression where possibly a miner from the past scraped down the surface a little ways trying to, to analyze the, the rock beneath the uh, surface layers of soil and duff. Another good sign. Alright, as we continue on up the hill, looks like another shallow depression. Old timers digging and searching. Back then, they, the only way that they could analyze the subsurface material would be to dig a hole. So they dug a lot of holes. Here we are. We followed a, tra a seeming trail of small depression digs to that one larger hole at the bottom. And up here towards the top of the hill, in, in somewhat of a straight line, we find this hole. This hole was clearly dug by people um it has water in it right now but it's wet season um it almost looks like the like the way they spread the gravel around was fairly organized wouldn't you say trevor i agree the way they there's a circle pattern around this hole which would indicate back then they didn't have metal detectors so if they were digging out ground that had gold in it they would have just literally had to spread it out yeah. Spread it out and look at it super close. Look at it with a fine tooth tooth comb, maybe wash it right here. But that that would to me leads to believe why it's such a such a uh, consistent mound of tailings here. Okay, yeah, we first walked up, we noticed just just a random flat out of the hill. And it kind of stands out like a sore thumb. Yes, an anomaly, a non-natural looking 
uh, feature. If oh. you pan over, Josh. Oh, right over here. Look right over there. What does that look like? Serpentine zone. Exactly. So here we are. Within a certain distance of serpentine, wherever, the, whatever point the gold precipitated out of solution, wasn't always directly on the contact. It could be off a ways. Nearby or could have been moved. Exactly. During exactly. natural erosion. Very, very interesting. I, I, I would say we there's a good chance we found something here.